Trade is good. Both parties win. It's a win-win situation. If I buy an iPhone for $300, I'm better off because I'm getting a product that I believe is worth to me, to my life, in the context of my life, more than $300. Apple makes a profit off of it. Win-win. Nothing changes if I'm trading with somebody in China. I'm still winning. Or in India, I'm still winning. So if trade is good, then international trade is good, which means free trade is good. We should be advocates of 100% free trade. That is, get the government out of trying to limit my ability to trade with somebody just because they happen to be in China. If I choose to trade with them, and I'm half smart, I'm going to be better off off of the trade. So free trade is good. Now, the question here, though, relates to free trade agreements. Are they good? Because free trade agreements are not always free trade. They have all kinds of limitations and tariffs and constraints and so on. But in a generalized sense, I would say that most free trade agreements, again, free trade in quotes, that the United States has signed, let's say, with Mexico and with Canada and with other countries around the world, I think recently with South Korea, they don't achieve true free trade. They don't actually lower tariffs to zero, which would be you know, what I would advocate for. I would advocate for the United States to unilaterally reduce tariffs across the board on all products to zero. They don't do that. But what do they do? They lower tariffs on both sides. So let's say with uh, Mexico, when we lower tariffs, we benefit as Americans. The Mexicans benefit as Mexicans. Now, again, when I talk about Americans, Mexicans, I'm talking about productive people on both sides, people who are producing stuff to be able to trade. Those people benefit on both sides of the border. Uh, so while these agreements are not really free trade agreements, they're better than if we didn't have them. That is, they improve things. They move us towards that direction. And all of these trade agreements have distortions and perversions in them. There's no question. I'm sure you can point to things that say, you know, this wouldn't exist in a free market. That wouldn't. Sure, it's not a free market. They're not true free trade agreements, but better than an alternative for the most part. What we should be advocating for is real free trade, zero tariffs, zero restrictions on importation across the board in the United States and in other countries.